everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the Disney tag as you guys know if you've been following me for a little while I am a huge Disney fanatic I am obsessed with Disney I love everything Disney I collect a lot of Disney things um, so this video only seems fitting for my channel um, there are about 50 questions so I'll try to get them through them as quickly as possible so that this video doesn't take forever but um, I'm really excited to do this tag and I will leave all the questions down in the comment sec or in the description box so that you guys can do this tag if you'd like to as well. And let's get started. So the first question is uh, favorite Disney movie and that hands down has to be um, up from um, the Pixar animation movie and I absolutely love that movie. It's my all time favorite. Um, Disney movie that's ever been made. I do have a lot of favorite Disney movies, just like um, a lot of people who have done this tag have said a couple extra mentions, and my other ones would be Beauty and the Beast, and I also love Toy Story. So I am a Pixar girl, but if I have to do classic Disney, I will definitely go with Beauty and the Beast. Um, second is Walt Disney World or Disneyland, and I've never been to Disneyland. I would love to go someday because I, it is the original Disney park. However, I am a Walt Disney World girl. I love that there's a lot more space, a lot different, um, a lot of different um, areas to go into, a lot of different parks, which is very interesting. And someday I would love to go to like Tokyo Disneyland. I think that's what it's called, but um, right now it's definitely Walt Disney World. My favorite Disney character. So. If my favorite Disney character has to be a classic character, I would go with Mickey. Um, question four is the first Disney movie you remember seeing in the theaters. I honestly can't remember my first Disney movie that I've ever seen um, in the movie theaters. I would probably say Up or um, Toy Story, any of the Toy Story movies. I probably saw those in theaters. Um, so I would have to say probably Toy Story. Um, the question, question number five is, what type of Disney item do you collect the most? Pins, vinyl nation dolls, etc. Um, I collect a lot of Disney purses and I've recently started to collect the Pop Funko dolls for certain Disney characters. Um, so I'd say those items. Um, I also do the Alex and Annie, uh, Disney bangles. Question six, your favorite Disney song? Hmm. So my favorite Disney song would have to be Something There from Beauty and the Beast. It's the song where um, Belle is starting to fall in love with the Beast and she's talking about how she's noticing something that's there that wasn't there before. Um, so that's my favorite Disney song. Set question seven is your favorite attraction or ride at the parks? Hands down it's Toy Story Midway Mania at Hollywood Studios. It is the best ride. It's super super fun. If you've never been to Hollywood Studios or if you've never been to Walt Disney World, I'm not sure if they have it at Disneyland, but go on that ride. It is so much fun for all ages and it's just like an interactive experience. Um, next is what is your dream job at Disney? And I am an engineering major. I'm an electrical and computer engineering major. So my dream job is actually to be an Imagineer at Disney. I have recently applied for a professional internship at Disney World, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that. It's a very competitive environment. Um, a lot of people wanna work there, but that is definitely my number one dream job of all time, and that is my dream job at Disney. Question number nine is, who's the park character you never want to miss meeting at the parks? Okay, so I have a couple, but my first one would have to be Sorcerer Mickey. So Mickey in his red robe with the blue hat with the stars like this. Um, and um, let's see. Also, I always have to meet Daisy. Um, Daisy is my one of my favorite characters. She's also kind of hard to find. Um, so anytime I can have the opportunity to meet Daisy, I never pass that up. And I make sure I go and say hi. Question number 10, what's your most treasured Disney item? I'd have to say my Disney necklace. Oh, I'm not wearing it today. <laughs> um, my Disney necklace I wear every single day. I obviously do not have it on right now, but it's my um, rose gold chain with the little Mickey ears that you guys have seen me wear in pretty much every single video I've ever put up. So if you want to see it, it's in one of those videos. It's also in my Disney haul, which I can link below. Question number 11, which Disney voice actor would you most like to meet? I don't really like meeting voice actors. I like to keep up the illusion that they're a character. So I would probably say nobody. Yeah, I would say no one. <laughs> um, question 12. Favorite Disney movie that's not a classic or famous? I would say Wreck-It Ralph. I feel like it's really underrated. A lot of people don't talk about it and a lot of people don't really like 
have never seen it or anything, so I really like Wreck-It Wreck Ralph. That's one of my favorites. Question 13. If you could say anything to Walt Disney right now, what would it be? Um, thank you for bringing magic to all of us and creating a world that um, adults can go back to and be a little kid again. Question 14. Your favorite snack to get at the parks. I really like the Dole Whip um, at the parks and I also really like just the classic Mi um, Mickey ice cream with the chocolate around it that's in the shape of a Mickey head. Question 15, your favorite parade or show at the Disney parks? My favorite show is the Move It, Shake It dance party. It, well, it's a parade kind of show mixture, but the Move It, Shake It dance party is really fun. Um, the characters, you can really interact with them. They're kind of out and about. And um, it also includes Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps from my most recent um, visit there. I'm not sure if they're still in it, but I was really excited to see them. Question 16, Flounder, Sebastian, or Scuttle? Hands down, it would have to be Flounder. He's just the cutest. Um, question 17, your favorite Disney memory. Um, so last time when I went to Disney World, we went to be our guest at dinner time. It's a little bit of a different experience than during the day. And be our guest um, has the beast. You can visit with him during dinner. You have the opportunity to leave your um, table after you're done eating and go to meet the beast. And when I was there, I was standing in the hallway before I was even into the room where you can meet him and they were just um, bringing him out and he passed by me and stopped in the middle of the hallway just to kiss me on the cheek and then he kept going. So that was my most treasured moment, especially because the Beast is my favorite Disney character um, pretty much of all time. Uh, I mean, that's not considering a classic character, but the Beast is has a very special place in my heart and I will always love him. Um, question 18, do you have a favorite pair of Mickey ears? Um, I would have to say these ones that I'm wearing because they are I think they're technically the 4th of July ones, but I like them because it reminds me of Sorcerer Mickey and Fantasia and um, the Hollywood Studios Fantasmic show, so this is my favorite pair of ears. Question 19. If you could, what forgotten princess would you add to the official lineup? Um, I saw somebody else do this video and um, she said um, the Pen Penelope Von Schweetz, I think. Um, so I would say her too because she's she's so freaking cute. I love I love Wreck-It Ralph and she's definitely a forgotten princess. Question 20. Your favorite princess dress or outfit? Um, the classic bell dress, gold, um, goldish yellow, um, big ball gown is my favorite. Um, 21. Your favorite Disney soundtrack? Again, <laughs> it would have to be Beauty and the Beast because... Well, actually, Beauty and the Beast or the soundtrack from Up. The soundtrack from Up is very, like, light music, very beautiful, like, just kind of whimsical music. And Beauty and the Beast is very classic. And um, I'm a big fan of the Beauty and the Beast theatrical show, like the physical show that you can do as a theater company. So they have If I Can't Love Her on there, which is a song by the Beast. If you know what song that is, I will love you forever. So just comment down below if you know exactly what song I'm talking about. But that makes that CD my favorite, or my, that's my favorite soundtrack. Um, question two is Genie, Abu, Carpet, Iago, or Raja? And I have to say Genie because um, Genie is voiced originally by Robin Williams and rest in peace, he is one of my favorite people of all time. Question 23, favorite restaurant at the parks? Um, I have two and the first one would be Sci-Fi Dine-In at, um, at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> you guys will notice that Hollywood Studios is my favorite because I talk about it a lot. But definitely that one and be our guest at Magic Kingdom. Question 24. How did you first discover the magic of Disney? Um, I grew up doing a lot of theatrical productions and um, anything Disney was my were my favorites and I loved the music and I think just growing up with a family who all loves Disney and I had been there when I was a baby, when I was seven. Um, I, I've gone a lot in my lifetime and I think that that makes me just... Um, had introduced me to the magic and never let it die. Question 25. What attraction are you most likely to go to first when you're at the parks? So if I'm going to um, Magic Kingdom, I would say um, Haunted Mansion or Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, if I was going to Hollywood Studios, I would say Toy Story Midway Mania. Um, 
Animal Kingdom, I don't really have a favorite. I guess Dinosaur, but I don't know if they're getting rid of that. I heard a rumor that they were getting rid of that. And then for um, Epcot, I would have to say Test Track, hands down. Test Track is one of my favorite rides. Okay, um, tw question 26. Your favorite iconic moment? Ariel on the Rock, Aladdin finding the lamp, Rafiki lifting Simba. Um, I don't know if it's considered an iconic moment, but um, when the beast is dying and Belle goes, I love you, and then kisses him and um, he comes back to life. Um, 27, what's the saddest moment for you in any Disney film? I have two moments. One is the beginning of Up, of up when um, Ellie dies. It's like such a heart heart-wrenching part. The entire movie starts off like that and it's just so, so sad, but it's absolutely one of the one of my favorite movies, so that one touches my heart a lot. And there are several moments in Toy Story 3, but especially when um, when the toys are going to their new home and um, are given to the little girl. I can't remember the little girl's name or if she had a name, but um, when they're just getting rehomed and they're, you know, sticking together, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> 28, best Disney kiss. I would say when Doug kisses Russell, like, licks his face, or Carl. Those are my, that's my, like, hands down, one of my favorites. <laughs> um, question 29, if you could live in any world from a Disney movie, which would you choose? I would choose Wreck-It Ralph because it's really cool. I love games. I'm a huge gamer, and, um, being able to, like, go in different gaming worlds would be really, really fun. Okay, question 30, favorite Disney villain? Um, I'd say my favorite Disney villain is... Ursula, I just think that she's such a huge like figure and it's cool that she's like aquatic and almost looks like a drag queen like I, I just love that um, 31 which Disney princess has the best sidekick? I, so my favorite Disney sidekick would be Rapunzel with Pascal. I think she has the best one um, 32 if you could have a party themed around any Disney movie, which one would you pick up? <laughs> you will see a theme that that's what I would pick Question 33, are you the only one obsessed with Disney in your family? Definitely not, my entire family is obsessed and we all collect a lot of Disney items. Question 34, Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, Cogsworth, or Chip? I would say Mrs. Potts. Um, question 35, favorite Disney princess, prince, Belle and the Beast, or Belle and Prince Adam? Um, question 36. If you could choose the plot ad adaptation for the next Disney movie, what would it be? I would like them to do... Honestly, I would like them to do a sequel to Up or a sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. Just, I feel like a lot of the movies that are underrated, I would prefer them to do sequels because those actually tend to be my favorites. So I think that if they could do a sequel to a movie, then I would do that. Um, question 37. Favorite hotel at the parks? I can't really say I have a favorite because I've only stayed a few places. Um... But the places that I have stayed, my favorite was um, Port Orleans Resort, Riverside. Um, question 38, which Disney movie do you turn to when you're sad or upset? So if I need like an uplifting story, probably the original Toy Story or Wreck-It Ralph because those are both kind of fun. Um, question 39, the Aladdin show or Frozen show? I've only seen the Frozen, sh Frozen show and I'm not really a huge fan of that show, but I would say Frozen. Um, question 40, do you plan to have or have you had your honeymoon at a Disney park? Well, I would have to get a boyfriend first. Question 41, favorite piece of Disney clothing or accessory to wear? Um, any Disney themed shirt I really like. Um, my necklace is my favorite accessory and my bangles, my um, Alex and Annie bangles. Question 42, one thing you wish you could add to the Disney parks? A Wreck-It Ralph ride and an Up ride because I feel like they could easily have adapted the uh, Soren to Up and had you like riding in a house of balloons. But they could also make a cool attraction with Up where like similar to Peter Pan's flight where you're kind of in your house balloon and then you could be almost in a visual um, like have a screen where you're kind of like flying through um, and then somehow you know come out of it and then you know go into the world along the waterfall. Question 43, Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck? I would say Mickey Mouse, but I really also love Donald Duck. They're my two favorites, so. Question 44, what Disney movie world would you like to see in the next Kingdom Hearts game? I honestly don't know what Kingdom Hearts is, but um, maybe I should figure out what that is first. <laughs> and then last but not least, question 45, 
which Disney movie, even if it's not your favorite, will always have a special place in your heart and for what reason? Um, Beauty and the Beast will always have a special place in my heart, specifically because it is my favorite theatrical show, it's my favorite movie, it has my favorite music. I literally can sing every single song, every single lyric, in every single moment of that movie. Um, those are all my favorite characters and I grew up with that show. That's my mom and my dad's both favorite Disney animated movie and princess and it has just been passed on to me so that will always um, hold a very special place in my heart. So those are the 45 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys did the same video because I would love to watch it and see what other people love about Disney and I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. I love you all very, very much and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.